Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at March Comes Like a Lion, episode 4, I want to believe, of season 2. Uh, if I'm wrong with that, I am sorry about that, but I cannot remember off the top of my head if this is episode 3 or 4. Uh, but anyways, I will tell you right now, the, the, the resonance of these bullying episodes is hitting me so hard because it, it brings back the harsh memories of my past when it came to being bullied and ostracized at school. Um... You know, I don't think people understand Hina's struggle if you don't, you know, understand bullying from, like, the perspective of what she's going through. You might sympathize with her and you understand that she's being treated so poorly. But, you know, I empathize with this. It, it's just the stuff that she's going through, the anger, the, the depression of it, the, the fact that you want it. Like, she wants to strike back. She wants to she wants to show rage. But as she tells, you know, uh, um, Ray, she doesn't want to do that either. She wants to just... You know, figure out a way to stop it. And what was so cool was the baseball guy, he had tried his best to stop it in many ways. He, he kind of did for a little bit. Um, but ultimately, he made it where it was kind of worse. And the reason being is because then girls were like, oh, she's, you know, just getting her, her someone to fall for him because, you know, she's trying to say, oh, look at me, I'm hurt, I'm innocent, etc. When she is innocent, that's, he is completely innocent, but... Lo and behold, that's how school bullies are. They don't care about that. They just see now more ammo to use against her. Uh, but what I thought was so great was that, you know, he didn't care. He still tried her his best to make sure that she felt like, hey, sh you know, I care about you and I want to protect you. You know, not, this, not the way that I think was the most obvious way he could have did it, where, you know, he could have just doubted that way. But he did it in a way that was like, for example, making it where the girls would play uh, baseball with them and they threw it as hard as he could <laughs> to scare them off. Um, you know, that was cool. I, I really, th I really dug that about him. It was, that was a pretty badass thing he did. But, you know, what sucked was that even at the end and with, with the teacher, and that was probably what pissed me off so much because I know the pain of that where teachers will play ignorant to it. And it's like, it, it enrages me because I remember so much of when that happened in my past. Um, but when the teacher saw the stuff written on the chalkboard and, and and Hina left it there because she had been erasing it every time she saw it to make it so it's like and then she just sees it and she's like what what is this how can you do this who and she goes I don't know that wasn't that was there when I was already got to class that's the way you fight back folks there you go right there you don't fight back with fists you don't even just fight back with the words you fight back with action and that's one thing I, I love Tina did that I'm like oh yeah you got it you, I, she's she's gonna create waves and that's what you need with situations like this. You need to make it so it's obvious. Like, oh, look at this happening. Do not play ignorant to it. It is happening. So the teacher might play ignorant to she as much as she wants, but eventually it will come out, and then hopefully the people that are doing it will be, you know, reprimanded and enough that you know, hey, if they continue on doing it, they'd be expelled because that's what really those kids should be. You can't ruin the sc uh, a school for kids. That's just right then and there. I, I hate that. Is that. These kids are taking away what should be a fun and educational place and making it into a hell, essentially. I know the pain of that. I really get that. And it, it sucks because, like, you know, I don't think a lot of people know this, but I love learning. I love learning things every day. Something that is one of the coolest things about life is that you can learn something new every day, literally. And, you know, in school, when I did actually try my best to learn stuff, you had bullies. And bullies ruined school for me in a lot of ways. It, it made it where school was a nightmare to go to. And I still went. Because I still wanted to pass and stuff, obviously. But, you know, it's like Hina's struggle. I empathize with it. I know it so well. And that's what makes this, this like, you know, the writer for this. I, I forget who it was exactly that wrote this. And, and please, uh, whoever knows who it is, put in the comments below. I, I, I really shouldn't give them more credit. I believe it's a female that, that, that did this. The f a female magica, But I'm not 100% sure. But you can clearly tell that they understand what pain is of bullying. And it might not have happened to them per se, but at least enough that they, you know, did their homework with what it does in your mind. Because I, I really loved how even every scene that they showed with Hina and her reactions was just but what, what goes through your mind when you're bullied by people. Especially when it gets to a certain point. So, I mean, this episode of me was incredible. Uh, March Comes Our Lions always incredible to me, but this is definitely one of my favorite episodes. Because the emotions I'm coming out of this week's episode was just stellar. Uh, what did you guys think about this week's episode? I would love to hear from the comments below. I'm sorry if I ranted a little bit, but it, it you know it's one of those things that I think I kind of you can give me some uh, you know kablosh there. What's, what's I forget the word for it, but I'm not gonna try to say a uh, carblanche for for ranting a little bit with that. But it's how I felt, so I hopefully you guys understand. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I have one other review today right now. Well, actually, two other ones. I have Foxbeard Matchmaker and I've Code Realize. I'll try to get to those as soon as possible, guys. Bye, bye, everyone.